Right guys, so today I have one of the most hotly anticipated tactics that I have released and it's all mine. For those of you who have seen the network save that I'm doing with Murph FM, I am Real Madrid, he is Barcelona. This is where this tactic spawned and since we've been using it in the, ne in the network game, we've also tried it in a couple of different rebuilds as well. Most recently, the Norwich rebuild where we got them so high up the Premier League. This is a very, very good tactic and it does work with the underdogs as I have described. Over the top of me now, you will be seeing some of the goals from the network game where we did win the La Liga title. Over the course of the season, we went on one hell of a run, including our final six games, where we went on to not concede a goal as we managed to lift the La Liga trophy. And also, we scored a fair few goals on the way as well. 24 goals in six games with no goals conceded. This is a very, very dominant diamond. We score some exceptional goals all across the pitch. So let's get in and take a look at it. So guys, this is the the shape in game i'm not going to break it down too too much but this is the save this is our network game with murph fm and yes this real madrid team looks very very different we had a very turbulent summer we spent a lot of money we sold a lot of players but this is the team going into season number two of that save but as you can see it's a relatively standard diamond we got a defensive midfielder two central midfielders a central attacker midfielder and two guys up top now i really wanted to put this to the test so what i basically did guys is i took it and i put it to every single team who is predicted to finish bottom of the major five leagues in Europe. So we've got the Premier League, we've got the Bundesliga, we've got the Serie A, we've got La Liga, and of course we've got Liga. Uh, so we've gone over, given it to the worst team or worst predicted team according to the Media 11 when you fire up the game and we wanted to see how it got on. So let's get into the testing. So guys, we gave this tactic to the worst media predicted team in every of the top five divisions. Now we're gonna start things off with Norwich. Now obviously I did this tactic with a rebuild of Norwich, but we started with them in the championship just after the end of the current season and going into the start of the next season this is the vanilla database as it starts we've just plugged the tactic in and let them get on with it so this is how Norwich got on throughout the course of the season with a full year of this tactic so obviously Norwich doing very well here uh, in terms of things finishing up in sixth for a team that actually did get relegated uh, you can see this is pretty darn good. Um, they also got to the quarterfinals of the Emirates FA Cup where they were unfortunately beaten by Tottenham. And then they got into the uh, semi-finals of the Carabao Cup where they were unfortunately beaten by Manchester City. But obviously, this is a ludicrous run for a team that ultimately did get relegated in Norwich. And not only did they get relegated, they got relegated bottom of the division but what i basically did is i put it to all five teams in the same simulation because i knew they weren't going to come up against each other in european competition so if we flick over to clermont here in france if we go into this here uh, you can see they got into sixth into the europa conference league places in the french league obviously psg did go on to win the title and there is a big gap between uh clermont and obviously the uh team at the top which is psg but in terms of everything else i think it's not a million miles away only nine points behind leon who did finish in third um so very good progress here so it's done well in england it's done well in france if we go over to germany this is greuter flirt um if we go and take a look at their competitions uh they got into the champions league top four position for a team in the Bundesliga, um, only three, uh, four points, sorry, behind uh, RB Leipzig in third. And then, uh, okay, 20 points behind Bayern, who won the title. But only 12 points behind Dortmund. So, obviously, these are the bottom teams in every single division, guys. So, I think we're actually doing pretty darn well. Over to Italy we go. Uh, this team has done really, really well as well. Obviously, not so, not so well in some of these cup competitions for these other teams. Just Norwich, it seems to be uh, returning here. Not, as, not necessarily as, uh, as well in Italy. But this tactic does, every now and again, struggle with a five-back formation so playing in Italy probably not the best one for this uh down in Italy it did finish in 11th but obviously this team are predicted to finish 20th and get relegated uh they were very much safe in their division so I'm not too not too disappointed by that and then we go over to Mallorca into La Liga obviously the tactic was spawned for Real Madrid and with Mallorca we finished in fifth a Europa League spot again for the team predicted to finish bottom in terms of goal scoring though we are very good at goal scoring finishing just behind uh Real Madrid and Barcelona and in terms of goals conceded uh, we're not too shabby either um, things could be worked on but obviously Mallorca not necessarily 
the best team in Spain to take this uh, take this tactic forward. So let's have a look at it. This is the diamond. Here are the roles. There will be download links to the in the description where you can go and take a look at this tactic and get it into your game exactly as you would like with all the set pieces and all of that good stuff in there as well. Um, but this is the tactic and we're going to break it down here for you guys on mobile or want to recreate it yourself. You can do so doing the following steps. So in goal, we have a sweeper keeper as uh, on support duty they come with the uh, with the instruction of take more risk this is one that is a uh, you know compulsory to the role it doesn't need to get added by yourself there will be some of the instances where you need to add these roles yourself so for instance if we go into the fullbacks now massive shout out to fm stinger or stinger neil um for this suggestion i've been trying to get this tactic to work as good as humanly possible and he did this video uh, which we're going to flash up now either as a card or something like that uh, where he was talking about inverted wing backs and getting the same out of a fullback on attack which is a very very good video and it prompted me to do this so we've got uh, we've got this fullback on attack now they're both fullbacks on attack on both the left and the right hand side and they have exactly the same uh, instructions on them so they come with get further forward and cross more often they are the ones that come with the role but the additional ones that we've added are the following tackle harder sit narrower shoot less often cut inside with the ball and dribble more guys so the additional instructions are the ones that you can see here on your screen they have the little red circle and the white cog next to them uh, for you guys and you just go adding them by going on to the edit button here and then like tackle harder for instance you can kind of see shoot less dribble more cut inside with the ball sit narrower all of these ones are just added on themselves guys so that is both fullbacks in both fullback positions both left and right back have the exact same thing here then we have ball playing defenders on defensive duty two of them in fact uh, and then we have the additional instructions on those guys of tackle harder, stay wider, shoot less and dribble more. So they're going to get on the ball and they're going to try and bring the ball up and then start trying to look to spray those passes. The man who holds the thing all together, the anchor here on defensive duty. This is my defense midfielder. This in the, in the network game is where Casemiro sits and thrives. Um, he has, uh, as, an, as an anchor, comes with all the instructions, but he has the additional one of tackle harder. Now, I will give the caveat. Casemiro does pick up quite a lot of yellow cards so this is how i've primed the tactic this is how i want you guys to use the tactic if you notice the cdm getting a, a lot of yellow cards just take that off um, then we move into the midfield, the box to box midfielder. My uh, Valverde role basically is where this one is. Uh, so we've got uh, tackle harder, moves into channels, uh, shoot less often, dribble more, and take more risks on my box to box midfielder. Then we have a Mazzala on attack duty with the additional instructions of dribble more, shoot less often, and tackle harder. Moving things up the field, we have a shadow striker. Now, I've just bought Jamal Musiala to play in this position for Real Madrid. So, I'm hoping he can get a lot of goals. Because for me, I was forced to play Eden Hazard in this spot a lot. And although he scored quite a few goals for us, isn't exactly the kind of player we will be looking for in this spot. But he has shoot less often and tackle harder on the shadow striker. Then up top, we have two advanced forwards on attack duty, obviously, and they have the exact same instructions on them, which are take more risks, dribble more, shoot less and tackle harder. Now, we move into the custom style. This is completely uh, the tactical style. This is completely custom. Uh, if you guys want to just set it clean slate and follow the instructions, the tactic will work exactly the same. So we have a positive mentality. Then in possession, this is how we are looking. We are attacking fairly wide. We are playing out of defense. Slightly shorter passing directness with a higher tempo. Low crosses into the box. And we are working the ball into the box as well. In terms of in transition, this is how we're looking. We are counter pressing. We are countering when the possession has been won. And the distribution type from our goalkeeper, we're just going to roll it out nice and steady. Then we go into out of possession. This is how we're looking. Now, I see a lot of tactics in FM where everybody's just bunched up. We're pressing super high up the field. We're not doing that. We've got a standard line of engagement. So when the ball comes out past the opposition penalty area, we will start our press. I personally don't see the point in pressing right up there. Um, so we've started to press it a little bit deeper. We've got that standard defensive line and we are playing the offside trap with a standard defensive width as well. We are triggering the press much more often and preventing short goalkeeper distribution. So as soon as the ball comes into this area, we're pressing hard up on it. Until then, 
we're just kind of standing off and letting the letting the game do its thing now obviously i've shown you guys we've done really well in these test simulations so please do let me know down below how you think this has gone for you and if you would like to use it in your save i know some people in my discord community are using it to great effect in their save but i'm always intrigued to see how other people get on with this diamond tactic i think it works pretty darn well for an underdog tactic but let me know how you get on with it in your saves down in the comments below if you like the tactic sort of stuff please do check out this playlist here this is all the tactics that we've covered on the channel all about fm22 so please go if you like something else let me know